Hi, I'm Captain Brian Fancher with Texas Fishing Tips. One of our YouTube subscribers has emailed us and asked us about how to work a popping cork, how long to have leaders, and what to use on them. So today I'm going to explain that to y'all. What we have here is my favorite rattling cork, makes a good noise, a shrimp tail, a shrimp with a broad tail on there, a basic hook, two rattling jig heads, I use the Rockport rattlers, a roll of fluorocarbon, and some gulp shrimp. For a lot of people, fishing with a artificial is kind of a foreign concept. So to make it easier, I really like using the popping cork. Now this rattling popping cork is weighted on one side so it self writes itself and keeps your line out. Now today we're going to be fishing in about two foot of water. So I cut a section of leader approximately two foot long. That way, by the time I get done tying my knots, it's only about 18 inches long. That way it suspends your bait just slightly above the grass line. So I'm going to use a pretty simple fishing knot here. Just a, a twist and lock this fluorocarbon on here. And then once it's good and secure, I'm going to take one of my jig heads here. I'm using white because for this purpose I'm going to select the white with pink. Now we've got some fairly clear water here. This will really stand out and attract the fish. So I'm going to go ahead and tie the jig head on with the same knot. And back through it. And back through it again. And for more information on how to tie these knots, Texas Fishing Tips, we've put up a whole video series on knot tying, so you can learn more about it from other videos. With the knot secured, now we have our rattling jig head and our rattling cork at approximately 18 inches of mono. This is where you put your favorite jig head on, or your favorite lure. For me right now, it's this, white, pink, flashy. So thread it up on there as normal, pop it over that jig head. You can see if you look closely, there's a lure keeper attached to these jig heads. And that holds your lure on there in place as little fish are trying to pull it off. Worm it on there tight, pinch it on, and there's your perfect setup for working an artificial under a popping cork. Another method, using the same rattling cork, same amount of leader, is to tie a simple hook on there, like this 2 watt kale hook. Tie it on in place of your jig head and then put a Berkley gulp on there, like such, and hook it right through the head, just like you would a normal shrimp. These gulps, hooked like this, popped along, give the illusion of a regular shrimp under a popping cork and offer a good way to catch fish. You cast it out, what you wanna do is just pop it along, every other second, count in your head. One, and two, and three, and two, and three, and two, and three. And what that's doing, is it's making that jig on there bounce in and out of the grass, up and down, and it's making a lot of splashing, rattling, and noise that way to attract the fish. Thanks for watching. If any of y'all have any further questions on rigging or fishing or any tips you'd like to see, go to texasfishingtips.com. Shoot us an email and we'll try to get your video on here next. I'm Captain Brian Fancher and thank you for watching.